So remember we went to the 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 bar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And we was talking about melanin. Yeah. And then Joe, you brought up the fact that you didn't know what melanin was. <laughs> Can I, you please confirm or deny? I think I, I like said like, is it melatonin? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. see, see, thank you, thank you what for clarifying. What is wrong with that? I you. don't. You don't know. You're welcome. Well, it's a safe space, right? Well, I hope so, bro. Okay, so can we? <laughs> they don't feel safe. That laugh does not feel safe. I'm cooked. <laughs> What up, everybody, and welcome back to the Speakeasy Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. We have a big episode for y'all today. It is fight week, okay? We got Anthony Joshua versus Francis Ngannou, and we have UFC 299 all happening this weekend. And by the time this episode hits your ears, most of our predictions will probably be wrong. It is what it is. Speaking of fights, we also have Ryan Garcia versus Devin Haney coming up. Ryan Garcia, pretty controversial figure these days. We're going to unpack why. And not only that... We're going to talk about the power, the good, bad, and ugly of manifestation. We're going to talk about some new tech like the Apple Vision Pro. We're going to see, we're going to speak on this new space I'm sitting in right now, right? All thanks to y'all. And not only that, we're going to teach Joe what melanin is. We got to get our boy right, y'all. Enjoy the episode. That's actually a random one that we, I, we could start with. Who's Zach, I got to stop it. Zack Snyder, who's that? You know, the Flash. He's a creator. Not the creator, but. Of the Flash, of DC, we'll the boys. Let's we'll talk about it on the pod. Got a random opener. Oh my god, bro! <laughs> we are talking on the pod now. Nah. Now we're talking on the pod. Uh, That's disrespectful. We are. We were. <laughs> you were there, bro. Whoa! I can't be in the combo, <laughs> bro. Talk about Zack Snyder. You know Zack Snyder? Yeah, 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 yeah. You seen how much he he's getting? I still Yo, don't Joe. know who he is. Okay, so he, me neither. I'm lying. Uh, oh, yeah, he a, direct, he a director. <laughs> so he basically said that DC is, like, protecting Batman because they don't let him kill. And they're like, I don't understand why DC is, like, protecting their god that way. They're, and, like, they're who? Their god. Because Bat, Batman is, like, the face of DC. I mean, in movies, but isn't Superman supposed to be that guy? Right? Yeah. Superman watching Batman. Didn't Zack Snyder do Justice League? Yeah. But he, he also did Superman versus Batman. And uh-huh. he had, I don't know if y'all seen that fight scene, Batman was killing everybody. Yeah, Batman was going off. Yeah. Why doesn't and Superman just fly in the air and laser beam his ass? Kryptonite. Why are you bringing up Zack Snyder, bro? Right? Because he getting, he, he getting like attacked online. You like that? Shit kind of cool. What the hell for? Yo, bro. <laughs> what for? This dude wanted to be he's like, team, bro. <laughs> right? Fucking Omni-Man. You're back, bro. <laughs> so y'all don't want Batman to kill? Wait, so Zack Snyder's saying, let me take Batman so I can make him a killer? Yeah, basically. He's basically just saying, like, stop protecting him. Let him kill. You feel me? Could you, you imagine don't agree? a Batman movie where he's actually smashing their heads in? He did in Superman vs. Batman. There's a, there's a warehouse scene, and oh. he's shooting. He's killing them, bro. I got to go back and watch that scene. Yeah, man. but it's like in real life, movie. if Spider-Man kicks you in the head, you're dead, bro. Bro said in real life. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, yeah. If Damn. Spider-Man kicks you in the head, you're dying. Yeah, for sure, bro. That's what I'm saying. I used to love seeing those memes <laughs> of the Spider-Man game. It, it'll be all slow you motion. Feel me? You of feel a me? combo Spider-Man <laughs> You feel me? Ain't nobody surviving that, nah, bro. Nah, nah, hell no. Nah. You said Spider Man or Superman? We just changed like that. He brought up Spider Man. Yeah. Which Spider Man's the best? That's how we're starting. Absolute. You go first. The best Spider Man is Miles Morales, bro. Are we really okay. having this convo? Yeah, I feel like it's got to be Miles. Toby's an OG, but like, if you watch Toby now, bro. It's like reading your old text messages what you mean in by, the future. What you mean by Toby? Miles isn't a real person, though. Now nah, Miles is. <laughs> what are we doing, PG? That's, you could just say Peter Parker. To- he had a pack of them silos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Toby versus. Something before you're, you're, we came you're, in you're, here. you're saying an actor versus a, a comic book, bro? Okay, so if we're just Peter. actually talking about the actual Spider Man's. Yeah. Miles, he does graffiti, bro. He's swaggy. 
Yeah. Tom Holland's last. No, the other guy. Who's the other Tom guy? Holland? I'm starting to think that you're just a hater, bro. Who? Maybe. Well, but you're saying to, again. Miles Morales is a. That's like saying. What do you? How does he want me to answer the question? Peter Parker, bro. Because mm. you're saying Miles Morales. Miles Morales isn't an actor. That's the I already actual. addressed it. Toby is Peter. But then you just said uh, uh, Tom Holland. Get him, Oh, because I don't know what he is. Who's Tom they're Holland all, Spider-Man? They're all Peter. So who's Tom Holland Spider-Man? They're all Peter. Not Miles. Mm, hold on, Joe. Good response, Joe. That wasn't even good. That's a five plus, that's a five plus points. That's, what that's, the that's, fuck? That's an answer. <laughs> you got to <laughs> now, retaliate. Yeah. It's still Miles versus Peter, but you're including different actors that played Peter. It is true, Joe. Joe, don't let him do this, bro. Nah, what we, bro. What are we talking about? How it's, is there four Peter Parkers and one Miles Morales? <laughs> that's just what happened. That's just what happened. <laughs> For all the audio listeners, I'm tapping my skin. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Speak Easy Podcast. <laughs> it is I, your boy Burley Z, here with my phenomenal co-host, we got, okay, we got PG pointing first. Go ahead, PG. PG uh, and Mark. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good shit. Yeah. you remember. Transitioning. Absolutely. Introduce yourself. Say something. PG, Mark, you know, Mark oh Gonzalez. God. You know, my aliases. You feel me? How we doing, ladies and gentlemen? It is I, Joe Ico, a.k.a. Ico Beats, a.k.a. Sometimes I Beat My Meats. Bro, what's so crazy okay. is you started off like trying to like get a number or something, and then you ended it awesome, <laughs> awesome EDP. What did bro. you do? <laughs> EDP? I didn't say, bro. Real quick, I'll stop bro. Right there. I'll Hold stop. on, real quick. I know this this might be a little uh, TMI, bro. Okay. Oh god. But you know how like boxers say like you shouldn't beat your meat before like about they say boxers. They say don't have oh, athletes. Sex, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure, don't have sex. Meat. Oh man, I thought we were talking about briefs. Yeah, but bro, I beat my meat. When? Look at the eye contact he just held with you. <laughs> right. Bro, like, bro is this not a safe place? It's, just, it's always a safe space, bro. Okay, yeah, I'm going to look up right. here. So I beat my meat one time. And, you know, I go to the gym and I hit the bag, right? said one time. He beats his meat and hits the bag. <laughs> no, listen, listen. So I beat my meat, right? Yeah. It was like 5 a.m. I had to go to sleep, right? You went to the gym at like 6? No, no, but listen. I beat my meat so early. Stop. Just and then, get to the next part. Okay, no. but let me let me tell the whole thing, you right? Tell the whole thing. So bro. I slept three hours. Then I went to the gym and I gassed out on like two rounds. I was like, mm. "Damn, now sure. I understand." So you think it had to do with the a hundred percent meat beating and not the three hours of sleep? Only? Probably don't give a shit. Oh, good, good rebuttal. Like, come on, bro. Right? You got yeah. two hours of sleep and blaming it on the net bus. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. You think it was the actual? Hell yeah, because I beat my meat twice that day. Well, that's funny you say that because Ryan Garcia <laughs> recently just said that yeah. that whole having sex before your, your fight is bull, bro. He's like, it's only real if you believe it's real. Bro, that is real for so many things, bro. Talk about it, Joe. Because there is a dude who endured freezing temperatures, but he told himself, I'm not freezing, and he didn't get frostbite. So how about instead of anecdotes like that, you name a source, bro? Because who the <laughs> fuck are you talking about, Look Joe? it up. You David Blaine. Because I guarantee you, if yeah, I was yeah. like, Dr. Luther, Luton Brown said back in 2007, you would be like, oh, blah, 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 nah, bro, I give you praise. I'd be like, okay. Be like, no, why are you is... keeping on to that dumbass piece of info for this young? It's 2024. <laughs> but it's you young. <laughs> there it is. Is it David <laughs> Blaine? It's David Blaine. I, I can believe David that. David Blaine? <laughs> I can believe You're that. You're on Superman still, bro. I know, bro. What now, reality are you in? Right. Magic about, so, ain't real. Earth, PG. 2024 DC is man-made PG David Blaine he's not a character like a character he's a real person he's a magician PG yeah so is the tooth fairy PG what are no, we he's, talking he, about bro he what he was under under bro he held his breath for like how many minutes so you're you're telling me that <laughs> well he was he was in a in a ice block <laughs> <laughs> a magician you think yeah. that's fake <laughs> PG. Oh, y'all some y'all some clowns oh, today, bro. Well, no, so you, you're telling <laughs> yeah, me go ahead. That, you're telling me that David Blaine okay. has stronger lungs than David Goggins. 
Who the fuck is David Goggins? No, bro? he didn't, bro. No, he didn't, bro. You know, you're trolling now. You you're got it. That. You have to be trolling for not knowing David Goggins. You fucking cuss there, bro. Oh, oh David yeah. Goggins. Well, that's yeah. a guest we need. David Goggins, we would love for you to come on this podcast. Um, Show me a picture. Nope. Too nah, late for bro. that, bro. We, you cooked we, him. We hold tremendous respect for you. Absolutely. And we got a seat for you here. It'll actually be his his seat because he's a custer. <laughs> Look at you looking him up. You're about to get quiet. I know. You're about to get all sweaty You're in your seat. You're about to get so quiet in that chair. You're about to cuss. Oh, him? Bro. Apologize. Hell no, bro. Oh, uh, yeah. He a custer, bro. Nah, nope. bro. I'm not, nope. I, I don't stand nope. by those words, I don't stand bro. by that either. I don't stand by those you see, words, You see them, like, try to fucking corner man fucking Tony Ferguson, bro? He was, was talking a- about, don't give up, Tony. Like, shut the fuck up. Go fucking run a mile. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. He ate, the, he ate the gummies. Yeah, he ate the gummies, He ate the bro. gummies, bro. Saying, like, he had a fresh pack of silos. Thinking <laughs> Superman's real, cussing out Goggins. What's next, bro? Uh, We're right, five bro. minutes in. He about to splash us with that coffee in his hair, bro. See, see I quit. <laughs> Yo. Okay, so I wanted to start this pod um, with, of course, the check-ins. Okay. And what I like to do okay. moving forward is after we give our check-in, I'm going to ask y'all the question just to, like, get the mind going, right? Ooh, cool. Get the mind going. Get the vibes right. Yeah. Just getting uh, on, 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 a, on a proper plane. I okay. like it. So I want y'all to give me a high and a low, and then I want y'all to answer the question, what are you grateful for today Ooh. and why? And then, right, yeah. what I'm going to do in the future with my camera is I'm going to ask the Patreon audience, hey, y'all, the same question before the episode airs so that we can read some of their responses as well. I think it'd be kind of cool, right? That's fire. We, you know, so. Um, can I do, can I answer the question before I check in? Maybe that's what we should do. Yeah, sure. Answer the question, then check it in? Maybe the question could be the check-in. You know, mix it all in kind of thing. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. We'll go back and forth between high-low questions. On yep. my way here, bro. Talk about it. I was like, man, I'm so thankful that I got. Two eyeballs, ten fingers, mm. ten toes, and I'm driving myself to record this podcast. Later, I'm going to DJ in front of a camera that's going to be broadcasted across the world. Okay. I'm so thankful just for waking up with my health and just so many things today, bro. When I was praying this morning, I said thank you like six times before I even did anything else in the prayer, bro. Just that's because okay. I'm just like, man, like, okay, super yeah, thankful, bro. Like... I don't know, and I, I do believe life is what you make it, you know what I mean? So, tying it into my high, it's like, my high this week is just, like, mind over matter. Like, I'm not letting, like, that negativity, like, settle in too hard. Like, you know, take those hard moments, take those hard days for what they are, but, like, right when you get that opportunity to let it go, just let it go and keep pushing. Man. Okay, That's Joe. Fire. That's fire. Okay, Joe. <laughs> yeah. We love to hear that, bro. Absolutely. Man. I'm glad you feel that way because I know this morning we both woke up with allergies on 100. Oh, my still. God, right? Uh, Austin is crazy. I'm surprised you're not dealing with allergies like this. Cedar fever, yeah, the yeah, pollen yeah. high. There's another one that I that's high right now called, like, vermin or I don't know, bro, some crazy word. And yeah, it's yeah. just every time I thought I was sick, but it's just allergies. Okay. And no. you don't get them. No, no, no. That's crazy, oh, yeah, bro. No. So you never woken up, like, stuffy nose, headache, fatigue, and just been like, I'm, wow. Unless it's like a, like a flu or some shit, you know? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Respect. You know? Okay. Yeah, that's fire. Yeah. So, uh, well, you, you're going to do your check-ins? I, I, I try to tie do, it in. Okay. I said, like, you know, because, like, this week I just got, like, frustrated with a couple things. Okay. And then I just tried to, like, detach from, like, what it actually was. Let let me think of, like, some outcomes. Like, what's, like, a, some logical you know, thoughts that I can have that will help me feel better, that will help me, you know, and obviously if it's like a huge thing, like if you're dealing with like depression or other things, it's going to take more time than that. But just like for my average week, like just like little things, I'm like, oh, I want to do this. I didn't do this, you know, because like, I don't know about y'all, but like I always have like, like stuff that I want to get done in the week. And sometimes if I like measure it at the end of the week, I'll feel like a failure because I didn't do those things specifically. But, like, I don't know. I just got to take it day by day and know that it's a marathon. I can't be, like, at the end of this week, I didn't do, like, what I wanted. Because I probably did so much shit that I didn't even notice yeah, yeah, in between then. Yeah. That's Focusing fire. on that one thing. Okay. You yeah. know. Okay. Yeah, I get thoughts like that sometimes 
<clears throat> like, I had a thought like that today where I was like, <clears throat> damn, like, it's already March, and by the end of this year, I'm going to be 32, mm. and it's easy to kind of get lost in just day-to-day -day mundane, like, I'll, I'll wait till tomorrow to do it. And today was one of those days where I remember, like, I guess I'll, I'll go, uh, you know, so yeah. for this week, I would say the low was just similar to you. I just didn't do the things that I'd set out to do at the start of the week. Yeah. I feel like these last two weeks have been just super productive, like my recordings, um, you know, getting the move situated, getting this office space. We haven't even discussed that yet. Okay, so for the video viewers, I know y'all sitting here like, are they going to talk about this? <laughs> Welcome to the new Speakeasy studio, you feel like, me? Yay. We yeah. didn't even talk about that. I know. Now, this studio um, was a labor of love. You know, I had some family friends come in and help, me, help all of us put this space together. Uh, I know it doesn't even look like the same room. I promise we were in the same room with them three rickety-ass uh, bookshelves behind us. <laughs> it is the same space. Beautiful. And uh, I just want to thank Elias and his team for helping me put this together. You know, of course, Mika, thank you for the vision. Mm -hmm. We all appreciate y'all so much. And Absolutely. yeah, no, nah, this is going to be a house for some great conversations, I feel. Oh, yeah. It feels very, I'm very proud of it. It feels like a welcoming environment for guests. And this is just one space of this space, right? Like around the corner. You might have seen it in that video I posted. I'm, I keep looking at the wide. I, there's videos where I posted where I was walking around like these wood slats in the back. That's fleshed out now for, to be my new recording space. And, yeah, I'm just, I'm just super hyped. So with all that, right, these past two weeks, I feel like I've been on point. But I'll say like two weeks before this past week, where like this last week was me moving out of my apartment into – um, my other, my you know, my new space yeah. and all that. And moving sucks. Bro. Moving so I can't sucks, imagine. Yeah, yeah. bro. Gosh. I can't imagine. Bro, and just to have so much miscellaneous stuff, I think I'm a hoarder. I'm going to be honest. I think I'm a hoarder. But I'm hoarding electronics and wires yeah. and stuff, right? And y'all know, like, like, you never know when you need an HDMI cord or, like, a display port or oh, something yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. bro. But, like, you let, like, a mover come in, they just see a bunch of wires, bro. <laughs> Or, like, even, like, these little old handheld consoles I have stacked around this building. I'm just like, bro, they all mean something, bro. And it just looks like a dusty-ass Sega Genesis sometimes. And I'm just like, now nah, we can't throw any of this away. We got to keep yeah, it. We yeah. got to keep it. But the move was probably my low and just feeling like I wasn't really where I was a couple weeks ago. But the high, like you said, was just, okay, well, today's a new day, new opportunity to get refocused and stuff like that. Mm, so hell yeah. that's where I'm at. What I'm grateful for is the ability to just – kind of ebb and flow through life and feel like, you know, like you said, like I still got breath in my body. My brain still works. My limbs still work. Right. And, you know, what may seem like a minor setback or a major setback to me is still like progress in the grand mm. scheme of things, you know, because like, you know, me moving from that high rise in downtown to now where I'm at now makes for more things coming out of this space. You know what I'm mm, saying? Because it's like, you know, I'm closer. Um, I'm pocketing a little bit more cash these days and then put back into stuff like this and stuff like this. And, yeah, I'm just, like, trying to always stay positive. Yeah, yeah moving you know forward. I mean? And you'd be able to, like, uh, that, like, the idea of where you had before for, like, your, your recording space in, in general, you know? Like, that's becoming a reality you know absolutely that's before, fire before i even continue i do want to say i thank y'all as well as viewers mm -hmm. i know we this is what like episode four but you know y'all came over from me doing my releasey mm -hmm. thing over the years like i could not have done any of this without y'all any of this without y'all any around the corner without y'all so i do want to say last but certainly not least i appreciate y'all bro thank you for believing in me and supporting me over the years that shit tch, yeah bro i don't think we would be here if it weren't for that Oh, 100%. same. Say, yeah, bro. bro. I'll be in Cali somewhere. Yeah. I'm sure same. you'd be doing your thing, but yeah. still, like, you know, yeah. tied in with Berlin, like, yeah, yeah. in these chairs. Like, nah, bro. This shit cool. Crazy. Yeah, same. For me, Um, I practice gratitude every single day because, like, it, there isn't a month that goes by where, like, my life just feels like a ripple effect, you know? Like, and I always, every single, like, day, like, I, I always have it in my mind, like, no matter what, you know, the outcome is already, you know, I, I practice that a lot. Like, the outcome is already there. Like, everything will work in my favor as, as opposed. And turning 34, though, that was like, 
I don't know if it was like me saying, okay, so this this year is about to be insane because of the things that I've already like been wanting to do the past few months or have been like kind of like planting seeds the past few months. But like since turning 34, everything has been like lining, you know? Mm. And like, yeah, I, I, with with gratitude every single day because with, with you know, when I, when I was talking about like vibration and energy, like gratitude is the biggest thing, like in, in raising your energy and your vibration. So like, have to practice it every day and yeah just like life life is crazy man like even where we're at today like i always every, every few months i was talk about like having those conversations at your apartment you know what i mean yeah so it's like yeah it's it's insane and as as uh they were saying like because of y'all you know y'all y'all did all this and there's there's a lot like a lot that has been in the works you know so like my low i don't even think i have one that's good. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't. I don't think I have one. My high. So like, bro. Since turning 34, it, it's like it. Everything's been stacked with like just opportunities, and it's it's crazy. One one thing is is I have a commercial coming out in theaters, and like even that was like insane how it happened. And it's like just just. Everything's just lining up. It makes no sense, bro. Bro, you're not yeah, gonna just yeah. breeze by you saying I that. I know, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, gotta like, clap it up, bro. Right? We're yeah. like, Come Remote on. set. Unpack right? it, bro. <laughs> All right, so so uh so this this uh Fangoria, there's uh, a horror magazine, they hit us, they hit uh, me and my boy up. And um we know how we work. Like we I remember Evil Dead? Like that was like a random conversation that we was like, yo, we should we should do something for Halloween. And we like turned that whole room into like a cabin. And then we shot overnight, you know? So we know we, we like, do quick turnarounds. When you did Halloween, you know how, how we, like, did that overnight, you know? Oh, yeah. And then we took it to the airport. So it was, like, we knew we, we, were, we could do this opportunity when they reached out. They, they were, like, you sure you guys could do this? Because uh, this company, they're used to, you know, working in big productions. So, like, yeah, we went, we went to L.A. and we went to a random bus stop and we just shot this crazy commercial. And we we turned it around in two days, and they were blown away that that we pulled it off. And like, yeah, at the end of this month, so I think it's March twenty six, in like ten thousand theaters, wherever I, I believe is wherever that Winnie the Pooh movie is is playing. That I think it's a called Honey Blood and Honey or something. I don't know what it's called, but uh, Not like a kinky coffee. Yeah, coffee yeah, shop. Uh, you know, no offense to, to you know, <laughs> holy Blood and honey. shit. Up? What are you into? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Focus, focus, focus. <laughs> nah, but yeah. So wherever that movie's Play gonna Resident be playing, Boy, we're yesterday. gonna we're, we're gonna have a commercial beforehand. So it's like it's a crazy opportunity. So hell yeah. You're PG, bro. Yeah. You could really act, man. Thank you. And I feel like the commercial, like you know, because we've seen it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's fire, but I cannot wait to actually see you in like, oh, like, some, act, like act. acting. I know, acting I know, roles, bro. Bro, likewise. Man, likewise, we, we gonna do know? it. We gonna do it, Joe. Mm-hmm. You can act too, bro. But I feel like you want to hop in on like some like. He reminds you of, like workaholics, where it's just like, yeah, yeah, like no, no. And, like I, 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 I feel like okay, like because you asked me that a while ago. Would you be interested in acting? Yeah, yeah. and I was like, oh, no, no, no. and like after seeing like you, what you do, not saying like, oh, I think I could do it, but it's just like I genuinely do believe that like. When I'm streaming or when I tap into fucking like Joe Ico or whatever, like I'm acting, bro. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's like I could fucking sell it for sure. So okay. given the right role, I definitely think I could. But like like that gift you have of just like crying on the spot, yeah, don't ask me to do that, bro. You know what <laughs> I mean? Man. And like just certain things, but like, yeah, if the role was right, I definitely feel like I could kill it. Yeah. 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 It's kinda like what I just said, but it's all good, Joe. You got, that off. You got that off. Good, good shit, bro. <laughs> All right, well, let's, let's do that toast. next topic. <laughs> yeah, 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 next topic, next topic. Next hey, topic. toast, fellas. Yeah. Yeah. You know, toast yeah. everybody out yeah. there in the viewership. Yeah. Let's get into some topics. Now, I probably won't be able to do it this time, but along with asking a question with the check-ins for yeah. the audience, I wanted to start a new segment called Rapid Stances. Ooh, okay. Now, I just did, like, some syn- synonyms for, like, quick, quick topics or some shit like yeah. that. But with Rapid Stances... um. I wanted to give us each five different topics to like just give a quick like two minute Off breakdown. 
Well, this would have been research, so I would have given okay. y'all ahead of time to then come prepare with what you want to talk about. Fire, fire. Um, <clears throat> but we can still attempt it okay. if you want to. It's just the topics I had might have been Hell dated yeah. by now. We can give it a shot, though. Hey, this David. Hey, either way. <clears throat> hey, David Goggins. No, nope, no, nope, David. Don't listen, bro. <laughs> don't listen to him. Hey, you cool, bro. Yeah, he's cool. Say something, bro. Please say. Nah, bro. David, do not fuck with this dude, bro. (laughs) He's a lizard. And I know I've been saying that about Joe this whole time, but if you ever seen shape shifting, (laughs) hey, bro, example, case in point. (laughs) Yo. (laughs) Yo. You can't just swap like that, bro. You cussed him out. Okay. So. You, you cool. Like, <laughs> right? You cool. Like, bro, <laughs> you're not. Like, <laughs> okay, rapid stances, bro. These topics are old, but I figure, you know, okay. we, can, we can give some takes. Okay, okay. okay. So let me get my clock going. Okay. I'm going to give us each one minute to speak on things. Cool. All right. So I'm going to start. I'm going to start with Joe for this one. <laughs> okay. And it okay. will go like this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Starting on the <laughs> clock, you got a minute now. Tell us how you feel about Aiden Ross and Playboy Cardi stream. That was some of the corniest shit I've ever seen advertised on the internet. Okay. I've I've slightly feel bad for Aiden because I know he was hyping it up for a long time. Right. Just to get into a darker dungeon than we're in now. 30 seconds actually. I don't even know if that was Cardi. I'm pretty sure the whole community <laughs> doesn't either. That bro got a million dollars and walked out the door, probably ate some good dinner. Facts. And Aiden's still shitting his pants from that, bro. That I would be sucks. Uh, and time. Good job, Joe. Thanks, hey, bro. Hey, good job, bro. Thanks. That's Thanks. a great Thanks. rapid stance. Damn. Now, do we do the same topic or should we different. change topic? Different. Need, different. Need to, okay. Yeah, because okay. he was already thinking. Fuck. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. I'm gonna. Yeah, we putting that pressure on you. I see. Yep. Um. Okay. You feel it, don't you? Yeah. Thirty seconds, PG. Okay. Tell us how you feel about the Rock being a heel now. Oh mm-hmm. man. I wrestling. mean, me for one, I love Dwayne Johnson, right? So I feel like him. Coming back as a heel, it's like a, my favorite childhood memory, right? It's like my hero came back. So, like, you know, there ain't not that much to say. Uh, Berlin, you know what I mean? Hey, Joe. Uh, 40, 30 seconds. Dwayne still, better- Johnson is my hero. So, like, seeing him back to the vintage old rock, I mean, man, welcome back, bro. 25. Too much glazing? <laughs> How about oh. we use the rest of his 20 seconds to just say, why did you say one thing and then just spin it around in a circle? <laughs> Like, oh, man, bro. Oh, man. Dude, PG, like, it's like you pick and choose when you, like, give people, like, the opportunity to come on the show. David, yeah. in your mind, never come on the show. I'm going to diss him. Same with you, actually, with <laughs> Timothy Shallow. I don't want him on this show, bro. What's I gonna, do. What's he going to do, dance around us and sing songs? He's not. Bro, he's going to talk about the process of filming Dune. Oh, yeah, well, actually, when I was filming Dune. Like, bro, <laughs> take that back, bro. We're not here for that, bro. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. You don't even know what he sounds like. Probably sounds close to what I did. (laughs) Maybe, maybe, maybe. Only other topic I had at the time was Super Bowl being rigged. Okay, talk about it. Rapid stance is Go, go, hit it. Rapid stance. Nobody gives a fuck about the Super Bowl, bro. Okay. Nobody's cared about the Super Bowl since Michael Jackson did the fucking (laughs) halftime show, bro. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it was in the 90s, bro. Football is rigged. Everybody knows it. Wow. And it's a shame that we still participate in this dumbass tradition, knowing damn well we only watch it for us at the halftime show, bro. What about Taylor Swift? And Taylor Swift, shout out to you, sis. You make (laughs) records that sell tremendously, but... We only was really watching the Super Bowl to see if you and your boyfriend lost, and y'all didn't. So, congrats. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. But real quick, real quick. Speaking about that, I don't know if you've been following, like, the whole rock and the whole bloodline thing. Nah, I just saw him oh, get booed on stage. You've been, you've been following it, right? A little bit, yeah. You seen the last one? Where they were both in the ring? Yeah. Yeah. And he told him to acknowledge him? <laughs> yeah. Do you kind of see what's happening? Um, like the outcome, the outcome would be like the rock taking over Vince McMahon role. Nah, nah, like, like wh- I, I feel like, I feel like they're like the rock is like slowly. I feel like the outcome, he's going to betray this dude. Oh, like, betray Roman. Yeah. Are they? That's the whole point though. Right? Like that's why the rock came back to, to like fight him first, to fight him first. Yeah. Yeah. But, I, but if, if you notice every time he like, he like says that he, he's going to like lose, he points at Roman he like that subtle things, and I'm like, I think that's what he's like doing, you know. 
He's trying to. They're trying to do PG, like a big twist, yes. but, but I see it. It's like do a cool some some That's cooler shit. That's the whole point. Like he's not gonna come back as the heel and then be like Roman, you're still my boy. Yeah, he's got a shit on everybody. You know what's even crazier? What? Because I'm thinking like just back in that, that 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 era, right? Stone Cold could not come back. Like it's over. You know he's not in the same shape. Oh yeah, hell no. And that's crazy to think that only The Rock could do this and come back and like yeah. really make waves like this. You know what's crazy? What's that? Y'all watched dudes in speedos and leather thigh high boots right. fake wrestle as kids. That's crazy. You didn't watch wrestling at all. You didn't up. watch Stone Cold. No PG. So what did you do in replacement Stone of Cold that? Wars video games. games, bro? Don't roast that. I'm not roasting that. So why bro. you roasting wrestling? Exactly because it's, it's grown men in speedos and leather boots grabbing on each other. Y'all are like ten. Why was that entertaining? You need to pause, actually. For even thinking no, pause, no, bro. that's what it is. No, 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 no. Because as kids, we're seeing like heroes, like being strong and slamming somebody into the tables and jumping off high ropes and elbow dropping and Stone Cold stunnering. Stone Cold was a was a tough son of a bitch, right? Bro. This is some the of the toughest most badass SOB dudes, bro. in sports entertainment. What games were you playing, right? No, because it doesn't matter. It could be fucking Halo Sid Two, or whatever could be Halo fuck. Two, and it's still get flamed right now. Star Trek, Star Trek. That's <laughs> a, fuck yeah. That's a TV show. You played the game where it was just top down. All your games it's was Starcraft, top down. Starcraft, and so there yeah, you go. I did play that. too. I know you did, bro. I know you. Yeah, that's why you chose the game because you already know. I know that's that lame. you watched The Rock in a leather speedo tackle some other bro, bros. I'm ten. I'm not thinking about right. <laughs> So you say he should be canceled because he was doing his no, wrestling job? No, I, I don't know why y'all as kids were watching men in speedos that tackle cool, each other. Bro. That's cool. That shit was entertainment. You're crazy, bro. You are crazy, bro. That's the fine. attitude yeah. era was yeah, the greatest. Yeah. You like, literally on stream will sit there and watch Ness review a house every <laughs> oh, day, bro. Right. Walking around the house. Talk, well, on this wall, we have um, eggshell <laughs> gray. I'm flaming his dumb ass the whole time. I'm not like, he's my hero. Wow, that was such a cool punch. Y'all over there glazing, slobbing on fucking What's worse? Man. You, you, follow, you subscribe to his channel. You watch every video beginning to end, and you shit talk. Think about the person that does that, bro. What does he look like? Because I can describe him. Eric Cartman. That's what you are right now, bro. <laughs> At the house watching the Nets, bro. Put it on a show. Put it on a show? Yep, I'm putting on a show. <laughs> oh, putting on a show. Okay, okay. I mean... I don't know, bro. I I'm not putting on a show with those tours. The Rock in the in y'all C both told me how funny those were, so don't don't go back now. Oh my gosh, bro! You don't ever just know how to like just crack jokes and like you always gotta be. But you said behind the scenes it was funny though. <laughs> oh yeah, let's shoot the shit and then just act like nothing ever happened, bro. Because behind Damn, the scenes, wrestling sick, bro. Literally behind the scenes, Whoa. you you fuck with. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Don't rewind that. Be rewind Ouija that. board. Is this not rock on? Show the camera what you're doing. Is this not rock on? Whoa. Yeah, he's out of here, bro. He's Whoa. gonna get a movie before both of us, bro. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, congrats! Just, right, congrats like, on that, on that, blocks? on <laughs> bro blocks. <laughs> the fuck is bro blocks? Okay, so I did bring up Ryan Garcia earlier today. Yeah, and how he said no busting before fights. Yeah, ever affected him. Mm -hmm. He has a fight against Devin Haney. This is going to be a lot of fight talks today, Joe. Yeah. I'm sorry. Joe, we got to get you more into combat sports, bro. Then y'all got to put me on, bro. Okay. You're okay, like, then, then pay attention to this conversation. What am I like? Okay, okay. No, no, don't. We Go won't ahead. do that. We won't do that. We won't do that. <laughs> but y'all got to actually talk like I can understand. I okay. Because sometimes y'all just lock in and it's like, there's no hope. <laughs> okay, gotcha, okay. gotcha. That's right. like, yep. Sorry. Go ahead, give your sin give your sin in there. That's like me talking all types of apex and shit, and you're like, bro, what are you talking about? You're talking about guns, people. Then before scenarios? we talk about Ryan, we should address something we talked about last episode where we said we would bring you a new word every week. Fire. Right? Okay. So remember we went to the 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 bar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And we was talking about melanin. Yeah. And then Joe, you brought up the fact that you didn't know what melanin was. <laughs> Can I, you please confirm or deny? I think I, I like said like, is it melatonin? <laughs> oh uh, yeah. See, see, thank you, thank you what for clarifying. What is wrong with that? I you. don't. You don't know. You're welcome. 
it's a safe space, right? You know what? I hope so, bro. Okay. So, can we... It don't feel safe. <laughs> that laugh does not feel safe. I'm cooked. No, you're not. You're not. You're, you're not, not. You're not. This is amazing, bro. So, can you tell me, when you hear the word melanin, what do you think it means? Yeah. Give me two guesses, and then I'll... Melanin. I'll, melanin. Maybe a type of fruit? <laughs> melanin. <laughs> okay. What does it taste like? Like a, a blend between a melon and a watermelon. <laughs> a, a green... Oh, nah, bro. <laughs> Are you even trying? Okay, what melanin? Use it in a sentence. I got melanin and you don't? Yeah. Think about it. You got it and I don't. <laughs> Does he have it? Or I prefer I prefer my shorties to have some melanin in them. Okay. And yes, bro. Yes, he does. Yes, you have melanins? Yes. Melanin. Melanins. <laughs> melanins is crazy. We need a soundboard, bro. Cause I know, I know. Who it's wants cool. to be a millionaire? <laughs> like, yeah. last question. Like. We're doing a show, Joe. Is it my hair? No, sorry. No, no. Okay, so melanin. It's a hell no, though. So it's like I'm way off. Yeah. I believe melanin is either. I don't know. If, I, I think it's either a molecule, a vitamin, or just pigmentation of the skin, bro. Mm. The more melanin you have, the darker your skin, and then melanin is used to counteract the effects of the sun. Yeah, it protects you. It protects mm. you. Yeah. I wish I had some. That's that's valid to say, bro. I, I wouldn't need sunblock all the time. Right, right. I wouldn't have to worry about if I wear a T-shirt like this. And I'm outside too long, then I got a, a, farmer's, a farmer's tan. tan. Yeah. yeah, bro. Yeah. You yeah. don't find farmer's tan offensive? <laughs> no. Okay, cool, 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 cool. It's a safe space, bro. We're, oh, it's safe as fuck. I, I just, hate when he laughs. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I know, sorry, bro. Sorry, and sorry. it's like a very, like, sorry. judgmental laugh. Sorry. Right? It feels like kids in the back of the class would laugh at you, <laughs> right? bro. It's like, <laughs> it's like, bro, speak up. Right? SpongeBob and Patrick. Right? 25. <laughs> Like, bro, <laughs> safe space at PG. Give me something. Okay. But you know what What you know oh. you do have is the ability not to get ashy. We did discuss that last right. week. Okay. So you got that. Pros and cons. That's an advantage. That's a biological advantage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that, we, now that we got that out the way. So Yo. Ryan Garcia is one of the, like, what, what weight class is he? Lightweight? Yeah, 140, yeah. Okay, so okay. he's like very, very skilled boxer. Okay. Um, very popular boxer. Okay. Gen Z boxer. He's okay. like the next coming of Oscar De La Hoya, if okay. you know yes, boxing. I know but Oscar. I feel like he would take that disrespectfully. But just in terms of skill, yeah. record, talent. This is for dummies. Sure, exactly, exactly. Ryan, me know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I, I know how you feel about Oscar, bro. There's got to be viewers who also feel the same way as me and just don't have any clue. But Absolutely. probably know yep. a little bit. But you know about the name Oscar De La Hoya. Absolutely. Okay, so he's, he's he has a fight April okay. April 20th okay. against another star in boxing named Devin Haney. Gen right? Z? Yeah. 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 Um, Devin Haney has a uh, much more stacked record. I believe he's undefeated. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Ryan just took a loss against Gervonta Tank Davis, who is probably the best out of their circuit, yeah. right? Okay. Um, out of the so lightweights? Out of, yeah, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. And so uh, Devin and Ryan have known each other since they were kids. Yeah. Mm. And they've been boxing throughout their years, mm -hmm. some in amateur, some in sparring. Okay. And the way that they both describe it is they go back and forth all the time. So this fight is pretty hyped up. Because one, Devin, Devin is undefeated, and Ryan has only so far lost to Tank, who would wash respectfully. He would beat Devin, too? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I, with I think so, because it's like, I feel, I feel like the thing that separates Tank, it's like as skilled as you are, it's like you could only keep him off you for so long. Facts. The, the, the way you beat him, bro, you have to have some type of pop to have him respect you. To if beat Tank? Yeah, because mm. if he if he don't respect your power, he's gonna he's gonna he walk you down. Yeah, mm. and I and I don't think I don't think Devin has that. He ha he does have the skill. Yeah, he's probably the most talented out of out of all of them. But 
there's only so so much you could do to keep him off you. You know, Tang reminds me of like a lightweight Mike Mike Tyson. Hell yeah! Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. He, seek, seek and destroy. He's a, yeah, this is this is destroy. MMA, right? No, uh, no boxing. boxing. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Boxing. Yeah. So, mm. right with this fight coming up next month, um, a lot of people feel like Ryan is crashing out right now because he's been uh, allegedly drinking a lot, allegedly you know partying, doing drugs, living a very rock star life. Where Devin is is focused, bro. He he wants to take Ryan's head off. Okay. And so this press conference that they've been having have been like. A lot more disrespectful. But recently, Ryan has been going on Twitter rants. I've seen that. Okay. He's been going on Twitter spaces doing these, like, tangents. He, he got on there with Andrew Tate basically saying that um, he's he's exposing the elites. He was taken to what was known as – what is known as the Bohemian Grove where he was forced to watch children get, I saw that. Yeah. Get um get assaulted, you yeah. know what I'm saying, and he is choosing this fight to basically be the catalyst for this awakening, basically, because he even said that he rode out or walked out with a white horse. I don't remember this press conference. I probably should have watched. Oh, it. oh yeah, he did. He but did, he, yeah. but I guess that's biblical. Mm. And he was like, "Do you think I walked out there for no reason? Like all this is calculated." A lot of people feel like he's crashing out though. For whatever reason, whether it's yeah, yeah. Uh, psychosis, whether he's trying to get out the fight because he knows he's going to lose. Um, but then there's another side of people that are like everything he's saying is factual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, in the Bohemian Grove is known to be like a secret society. Do you know anything about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A secret society for like the elites where they perform rituals. Yeah. Some satanic, um, probably all satanic, to be honest. But again, all this is based on speculation and people doing documentaries going here and there. Mm -hmm. Um, And so, yeah, I just think it's interesting because in one of the Twitter spaces, he said that he had conjured a demon to then tell the demon to F off because he loved God so much. Ryan. Ryan. And as he's on this Twitter space, uh, uh, so he did too. It was one with Andrew Tate. And Andrew Tate, when he was on there, was like, bro, you need to be quiet. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. like you, you, you're, you're saying too much. And so it's, all, all this stuff that's been going on with Ryan, has that happened since he lost or like just in that time frame, basically? That's a good question. And he, it, it kind of just started. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. he did win again since that loss. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so he yeah, has yeah. fought since then. Yeah. Okay. I feel as though, right, like, It's hard to say whether or not this dude is being genuine. Yeah. You know? Because I feel like even if this is a manic episode, what he's saying, we don't know if it's actually wrong. Like, we don't know if, we don't know what the dude has seen, right? Yeah. And I just be wondering, like, I also don't think he's lying about conjuring the demons, bro, because in that call, the dude that was next to him that you could hear was like, bro, you got to stop. And he was like, well, I could do it right now. I could do it right now. Now, that does sound crazy, right? Like, as I'm repeating it. But, like, don't y'all kind of feel that, like, this might be a broader conversation, but is it just me or does, like, younger generations just not fear the supernatural in ways like that? Like, I kind of feel oh, like. nah, I don't think so. I kind of feel like there's, like, manifestors way more there's way yeah. more like uh what's the name like there's like a there's like a there's a term on tiktok called like magic talk or something like that bro where it's just a lot of people talking about mystical acts as if they don't have as if they have real power but it's like how are you gonna like tap into some shit like demons and then I don't know, bro. I don't even know what I'm yeah. trying to get at with this, but I, I just I, I do I do feel you because I mean I I've always said that that I I remember like as a kid I used to like like be scared of like that type of like shit like like the like boogeyman like, oh I mean not the boogeyman like 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 Bloody Mary hmm. um, like ghost and candy stuff. yeah yeah like like spiritual stuff mm-hmm. you know like de- like demons mm-hmm. I used to, I used to you know fear um, as he got older I feel I feel like like in this country specifically, I'm pretty sure, like, like outside, the ones that are very religious, 
it's like it's it's way more you know because i know in puerto rico they're like super religious and like you know but i feel like in this country specifically we, we definitely like like strayed away from that hell where yeah it's like everything is now like and I, I it feel, needs to have an explanation now and i feel like maybe just a lot of people don't have maybe someone in their life that's gone through something like that because i know like a lot of it became real to me when i heard real people in my life tell me their experiences you know what i mean messing with like occult things like that or yeah just, or like demons yeah. like you know what i mean like having a scenario yeah and like yeah like just to not name drop or anything but somebody really close to me they woke up when they were super young and there was like two silhouettes like two like men at the foot of her bed and one was like i'm gonna take her and then one was like, you can't have her. You know what I mean? And they were, like, legit arguing over her. Yeah. And it's like, she wouldn't make that shit up. Like, like not like she's just, like, bored. Like, she's not even, like, that type of person. So, like, and she didn't even tell anybody for the longest time. And whenever I would even, like, stay over at that house, I'd be like, no, nah, I can't fucking be in this house, bro. So, it's like, I feel like you have to have some sort of, like, I don't want to say interaction because that's gross. But, like, altercation or, like, something, you know what I mean, to, like, be like, oh, no, it's fucking real. Because, like, when you feel that shit, you know something's wrong, bro. Yeah. I have somebody, <clears throat> I had somebody close to me, too, that was messing around with certain books that they just shouldn't have been messing around with. And to hear how those experiences led them back to Christ, to just to be like, yo, like, I see some things, I did some things that, like, I just got to make sure I'm right is crazy but like i feel like there's gonna be so many more situations maybe not even like the the coming to christ part but just like trying to search out like the internet itself almost feels like magic when you think about it like yeah kind of like it's almost like framed to be that way where you can get whatever you want out of it it's instantaneous it's like it's like casting a like google's like casting a wand bro yeah so and like you can get all that information like now and i just you know like Back as a kid, I wouldn't even know where to start yeah. to try and, like, conjure a freaking demon, bro. Yeah. You know? Ugh. I think it's crazy. But also, like, we could be talking about this as if, you know, Ryan's not going through something serious. And it's, it, it, he clearly is, right? Yeah. yeah. You could kind of tell, like, watching the videos and the mannerisms and things like that. You know, I... I yeah. And he's, like, it's, like, kind of just, like, more frequent. Like, he's never even shown signs of this before or anything. Nah, heck no. No, because before he he pulled out on one fight, but it, it was more of like he said he was depressed. Mm. So, but he didn't he didn't show it, you know. Yeah, yeah. As opposed to now, he's like, you know. Yeah. But he did pull out before because he was like, I I I think I I don't know I don't know if he actually went to like like uh what do what do you call those places? Therapist, for, psych psychologist. Not a not a therapist, like, like a psychic. No, nah, like when you're depressed, they no. they oh. put you they you know. Oh, the tell. The hypno, hypno, no, not a hypnotherapist. Wait, what are we like? Not an asylum, but like, dang, because I have family members that like, Psych ward. yeah, 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 oh. yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, they keep you there for, you know, especially uh, when you're depressed and the people, because I had a couple of family members that they, they hit like rock bottom. And then once you start having those thoughts of like suicide, that, uh, that's when they, they take you there. You know, you have to stay there. They remove your phone. Right. Mm -hmm. You have to just stay there until, you know. So I, th I think that's what he went through before. Now he's, you know, so that's why, I, you know, he's probably crashing out, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that is true, too. Yeah. That is true, too. It's just the things that he's saying have some validity to him as far as the locate, like Bohemian Grove. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure, yeah, for sure. And then, like, it's, I just think it's, Weird, because, like, me not even following, like, fighters and shit like that, like, it's popping up on my timeline, too, you know? He's he's going all off, like, saying, like, a yeah. huge earthquake June 6th, and, like... Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Bro, right. Like, it's just, like, it's fucking wild. But it, but is there is there information about a June 6th earthquake out know. right now? I haven't looked into it, but, like, apparently... If that happens, though? Dude, if... If that happens, what y'all doing? I believe him. Church of Ryan? <laughs> That's where you going? Cause, cause right now, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm in, uh, I'm on the side of like, yeah, he crashing out. Yeah. So wait, it's that, Ryan and what's the dude with the D? Devin Haney. Devin. Devin okay. Haney, yeah, yeah. 
Is easy. Devin calling at the press? Or is Devin calling him like, bro, you're losing your mind? Or like, are they just like normal banter? No, he's just, he just saying he's, he caught him a cokehead and then he was like. Mm. He's like uh, talking shit on the party. Yeah, but he has said that he he's going to pull out. You know, he's, oh, he he's said trying. Ryan's going to pull out? Yeah, he's trying to. You think Ryan's going to pull out? Ryan's saying no. He's saying, That's what he's I'm, saying, I'm yeah. He's, he's like, I'm going to put all this conversation on hold yeah, after yeah. my fight, which is another reason somebody can say this is all promo, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, that too. Mm, that too, you know? Yeah. It's in April, April 20-something, you said? Yeah. 20th. It's around the corner. 20. Okay. So it's like, <laughs> who y'all got? Shit, Devin. Okay. Not knowing shit, Ryan sound like he off his rocker, bro. Yeah. yeah. I feel like Devin, yeah. Yeah. But, but damn, like but Ryan I, I winning would seen... be so tight, though. Yeah, he has the power. That's the thing about Ryan. He has that yeah. one hitter, you know, that left yeah. hook. He could finish yeah. it. But everybody, everybody knows that's coming. Right, he could he could do another what what Javante, you know what I mean? Because he was like, um, what do you call that? Uh, Ineffective. No, nah, no. Nah, when 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 you could, it's it's with a P. It's like when when you could when you're trying. That's all he was trying to land was that left hook to, towards Javante. Yeah. You're not projecting. What is what is it? He was telegraphing his punches. Predicting? So so Javante seen it, you know, because because that's all he was throwing. So he ended up counting. Mm. So, so you're if, just like waiting for that hook the whole fight? Yeah, like literally, you know, because that's all he had. So, but the thing is, Devin doesn't have that one punch knockout. So and but Devin's De- undefeated, right? Yeah, but they're they're three and three because they've been fighting since kids. Mm. So they are three and three. This is game seven. That's why it's, it's like compelling, you know. Oh, they fought three times. Yeah, yeah. And the Who's, amateurs. Who, what's their? They're three and three. The, but they've never fought each other. Yeah, they like they're three and three. Like, oh, they both have three wins against each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, over the years. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. Mm-hmm. So this is like the tie. Oh, damn, that's fire. Yeah, it's fire. Ryan's gonna be a good fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ryan, if he's not crashing out, it's gonna be a good ass fight. And if he's not crashing out and then he wins or even loses, people are still gonna be like, okay, Ryan, can we get back to this? This. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. It's like kid stuff See, you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I feel like I don't know, just like not knowing their fighting like styles and anything about that. I feel like bro has so much on his mind he's not gonna be able to focus. That's what it just kind of seems like when it comes to fighting. Unless he is doing for promotion, and yeah. then he just he's just trying to throw Devin off. And then he mind games and then him he at just the end, just knocks Devin. his dumb ass out. Oh, that'd be crazy. That'd be crazy, bro. You know? But I don't, I don't see it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't see it like that, bro. Sidebar. Yeah. Devin's dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know, bro. It's the, that's the allergies, bro. <laughs> I know. Now with Devin's dad, like Bill. Whole, yeah, thank you, Bill bro. Haney. Bill Haney? He cool. He cool, bro. He been doing mad promotion. I don't Absolute. know if you seen him and him Adrian and a- Broner. Yeah, AB, <laughs> bro. Oh, that was hilarious. Bro. He was like, hey, AB, don't get on there trying to white flag now, right, bro. Right, right. The people want to see fireworks. Yeah, yeah. His and dad's doing... talking shit crazy. Yeah. So, so Bill Haney is Devin's dad. Okay. And he's been like, he's been going on a promotional tour. He's been talking his shit, bro. What about his son? Like just he's about- just like he's all over just talking shit. He's like uh, cool. You know who? Uh, what's bro's name? Cool. Lonzo Ball, Lamelo's dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. His dad. You know how his dad was mad rowdy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's literally all like that. Yeah, and shit like exactly. That. Yeah, mm. yeah. It's like I don't know, bro. It's gonna be a good fight. Speaking of good fights, though, today probably right now. Yeah. Anthony Joshua versus Francis Ngannou. Do you know anything about either of these dudes? Okay, so still boxing. <laughs> Face, <man. laughs> Anthony Joshua is from the UK. Okay. Right? And he's been boxing since he was like 18. Okay. He says that he came from the streets to get out the streets. Somebody introduced him to boxing. He's like 6'6", diesel. Damn. Like, he's, like he's built like super, Damn. like a statue, yeah. bro. And he was sleeping people early in his career. And but people say that he has a glass chin, oh, and so okay. he's the one you might have seen him lose to uh, a fighter out of Mexico named Andy Ruiz, Andrew a- Anthony Ruiz, Andy Ruiz, Andy Ruiz, yeah. 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 Andy yeah. Ruiz is built like Majin Buu, bro. Yeah, oh, okay. Literally. And they they got in the ring, bro, and, and bro, Andy slept him, bro. Yeah. Oh damn, wobbled him, dropped him. Yeah. Oh damn. And so ever since that loss, it's just been rocky for AJ to kind of yeah. get, like, his career back. Yeah. Lost all his belts eventually, and now he's fighting Francis Ngannou, who was the heavyweight champion in the UFC. Francis oh, switched from UFC. Like, him and Dana had a split. He left UFC. Straight to boxing? Straight to boxing, but he fought Tyson Fury first. That was his okay. first boxing fight. Who won? On paper, 
uh, Tyson. But if you watch the fight, Francis yeah, yeah. beat Francis his ass, won, bro. Yeah. Oh, he shit. He edged it out for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. It was a good it was fight. A surprise, yeah. You so, think fighting's rigged? Some of them. I think Jake Paul's. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, we yeah. could get that out the way right now. All those <laughs> yeah. all those fake as hell yeah. bags. They're on these no-name networks talk, talking about written by at the end of a fight. Yeah, after that, that's the one fight that had me like, yeah. I just don't know about this. It was when he had fought. Uh, Tyrone? Nah, no, the one it was, before it was, uh, it, the wrestler Mayweather? Ben Askren. Oh no. no, yeah, Ben. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And at the end of the at the fight, it said written by Jake Paul. For real? On at the, the credits, end, bro. Before it rolled the credits, written by. I remember we were all watching the Discord, and I was like, "Wait, what did I just say?" <laughs> and it's just said written by Jake Paul. And ever since then, I just kind of been watching, and I'm like, "Don't get me wrong, Jake got skills, right? He can yeah, fight, nah, but it's just sure. It's just." I don't know, bro. You can't just breeze over something like that, bro. And honestly, to be fair, I feel like at this point, I feel like ever since this, this one, right? I feel like him versus Tommy was real. Yeah. I feel like him versus Nate was real. I think Nate just didn't want to like really take it to him like that yeah there might have been like a no knockout clause or some shit like that in there yeah that was just it, it was just like nate just didn't have the yeah he, but i still yeah. think that fight was real though. yeah yeah yeah. Nate I just think, didn't have the the pop yeah but it was boxing right it's yeah, always it been bo- boxing yeah, with yeah. This, with these fights yeah the nate. the anderson silva one yeah he yeah. fought anderson Silva. oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that one felt kind of I feel like yeah, Anderson wasn't squabbling. even fighting, really. Yeah, I yeah don't, that, I don't that's think. how it feels. It's like his opponents aren't taking it to him. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. bro. They're just, like, holding back and, like, doing enough to make it seem engaged. But, yeah. like, bro. Hold on. We're, jump, we're jumping. We'll come yeah, back to yeah, Jake yeah, in a yeah. second. No, no, okay. no, 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 no. So, Francis, Francis and Gano AJ is going on right now. Who do, you, who do y'all got? Because we might even see the. Because this this is the thing, right? What, what With my stance with both of them. A, a, so, AJ lost. AJ uh, the last chin, dude. UK. Well, well we got to get a better name, bro. He, yeah, because he the, definitely. The UK I, I, buff man. Yeah, I wasn't. Okay, sure. The AJ, buff boy. nah, he, 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 bro, he, 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 he <laughs> he'll call him buff boy. <laughs> he'll go medalist. Like, it, it's nothing yeah. but respect. Okay. Right? He lost, but he's, he's in, I feel like this is like his, he has a second win. This is like the, the second half of his career. AJ's? Yeah, like he, 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 his last three fights, he's like turned it around. I could tell by like, like, his mindset, how is it? His interviews, like you could just tell he's like, he's re he's reassured of himself now. So he started off strong, then kind of got a little rocky. Now well, he's he just like lost. Back on track. Yeah, he lost, and then he fought um, Usyk, which is this uh, Ukrainian dude. Okay, and he he lost to him twice, and he was like, he was just crashing out, bro. Yeah, bro, that that was a real crash. Yeah, out. but like, then yeah, after that, that messed with your head, bro. Yeah, you yeah. See it? You, you saw no, that I could just tell, like, it, it, especially with fighting, like if you're studying like your opponent and everything, and yeah. then like they're in your head and they beat you twice, bro. You're like, where are my skills? Yeah, it, it was Who just he I? was just going like, but then uh, he like, I, I feel I feel like this is this this last half of his career, he's turned it around. Mm. You know, he's like, he's doing he's he's phenomenal. I almost crashed out against Leland when he beat me at DreamCon. Uh, damn. The year before, the year okay. before the last bro, one. Bro, yeah, yeah, he was in your head. Okay, and you weren't even on the stage, bro, because you got kicked out in the first <laughs> round, bro. Take that trash, Samus, back to the fucking chalkboard, bro. Samus will out. wash you. Samus back, will wash me? Yes, bro. But back to what I would... Because yeah, yeah. here's why, bro. Here's Samus why Samus is, will wash me. Yes, bro. Uh, Samus yeah. is a trapper. I start trapping your dumb ass. You go, oh, here you go. <laughs> and you want to throw hands. Samus not here to throw hands. She's here to shoot guns, bombs, missiles, begammons. Uh, and nah, and, and that's that's the way it's got to be. <laughs> we start... Okay, but anyways. Right? Put your shoulders down, bro. Like... Right. <laughs> I'm AJ. <laughs> Oh, nah. No, nah, but I I just remember like watching that fight, and like, yeah, I feel like he was just kind of catching you in like certain things over and over, and then like this shit is lame as a bitch. I know, bro, but you beat him. Why are you mad? I didn't beat him, bro. Oh, you're talking about that round, bro? I didn't beat him ever, bro. Yeah, we we beat him in the in the, in the crew in crew in the crew. Yeah, bro, that don't matter. Ain't for no Talk fucking for belt. The belt. Yeah. Side note: You see Multiverse coming back. Yeah, I did see that. They said tested one too. They said that two days ago. Say something else, right? Yeah, the mic's on. Yeah. All right, we're all listening and waiting. Yeah, yeah. 
So if it comes that. back before DreamCon, we in there, bro. That's oh, what I, yeah. I, I prefer. I that. pray for that. Yeah. You know. But yeah, so who y'all got? Anthony or Francis? Wait, so you, before before well, well, you could go and then I'll go. Okay, so I'm probably gonna take Francis by KO. And I love AJ, bro. I feel like he's a great champion. I feel like he does great for boxing. But I just don't think anybody's really prepared for Francis's like willingness to like squabble. Yeah. Because he's been dealing with all types of weapons. Kicks, grappling. Not only that, his his, his story. And his story, bro. Coming bro, from like that's working. That's why he's, yeah, bro. Cameroon fucking My, yeah, lines bro. and shit, yeah. bro. I was trying to think of like what it, yeah, that action. Yeah. But, bro, he's here He's here to win. He got elbowed by Tyson and it was nothing. Right. Because he's, he's like. He's like, bro, That's normal this. to him, bro. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know enough about Francis because you just told me he came from UFC. Yeah. But like. So does what's his boxing record? He just fought like Tyson, so he that was his first. He's zero one, oh. but like it, he so, won. So bro. this is new for but him. He to be won, a yeah, yeah, yeah. But and he's, he's wanting about- like he's been wanting to be a boxer. Oh no, yeah, Francis is gonna win, bro. But this is the thing, right? I I I thought Francis, but then I just seen Drake put a bet on Francis, so I got AJ. Because of the Drake curse, but he put money on um the, the Chiefs, the Chiefs, and they and won. they won. What is he like? Like two and twenty? Come on, bro. Look at the ratio. Why does, is he your guy or not? I know. Hold on. He what just, just happened. Y'all fighting? No, it's just this. There is a Drake curse. Drake blocked you. Yeah. He said, "Take that headband off." He didn't respond to your bro. DM, bro. Which you one ain't was it? Nike sponsored. He ain't respond to my DM. Oh my gosh! What did you I say, got hey with a smiley face. <laughs> I got AJ. Bro, we were listening to Drake before we started recording today. Yeah, I think yeah. you put him on, oh, yeah, right? The OG. Fear. 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 That's Ooh. off Take Care. Don't That's off take care. believe no, the like, lies. So Ooh. Ooh. me in my lies. eyes. Please, Please don't, don't be scared, scared of me. Please Dang. don't be scared of me. He was spitting there, bro. Do you yeah. think a rapper or any artist can come through with, like, that kind of sound and make it today? Because yeah. I was. I think do? so, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. But I don't think they can go back. Like rapping though, because I feel like everything is melodic now. But but well, I, isn't that more like R and B? Like not, that not, was kind of rap. No, but not only that, oh, but it's but, but, rap. Though. That's rap. Yeah, it's rap. Yeah, it's but rap. not only that, but I I remember the phase where we went through um like Paul like Paul Wall and yeah. all them, and yeah. I I remember like everybody was like saying like damn hip hop is dead. And then the next generation, like a couple years after, that's when you got the Coles, the Drakes, like the, like hip hop. Goes through these phases, bro. We're well, gonna hip hop or rap because they're different. Well, rap in general. Yeah, we're we're yeah. gonna we're gonna go through that the same phase. Like right now, it's like, but that next generation is gonna come of rappers. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I remember that shit, bro. Happened so many times. Yeah, but Paul Wall wasn't melodic though. No, but you were going through that phase of like where it was just like the chorus and the beat was. Popping, bro. But all, all like the lyrical dudes, they were all like, "Damn, hip hop is dead." You had the Nas, you had all of them just talking mad shit. Yeah, I think Eminem was even like, yeah, it was Jay Nas. Yeah, they were all just like, you know, hip hop sucks, you know. And then in two thousand eight, two thousand nine, that's when we got the Drakes, the Coles, Kanyes, and all that. Exactly, dude. I am so ready for this, like, to be done. This era. This era. Yes, yeah, bro. So that, that's this where we're at right been now. Going on way too long yeah. bro which era would you call it soundcloud like, or just n- well okay so it's changed because like the soundcloud era was like what started this but that was like very raw like that's like the best way i could just describe it is raw like x like ski mask like they all have that like like when you listen to it it almost sounds like the the song isn't mastered but that's like the point yeah you like they recorded I mean? in a shoebox or something exactly yeah, yeah. And, like, that gave it, like, a feeling. Now it's, like, studio version of that. Mm. And it's, like... Like that Yachty song? Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> Which one, though? Because Yachty, Yachty dropped was snapping. This, he, he dropped this trash been, song on YouTube, was one, bro. Yeah. I was streaming, and I was just, like, trending now. It said, like, two hours ago. And I was like, oh, shit, okay. It's brand new Yachty. Clicked on it. Literally running away from the beat. <laughs> and it sounded it sounded like you had like seven browsers open and you don't know where the audio is coming from. Is that bro. the one where the video he's he got himself in like different I think so, yeah. It's like all white background. Ah, sh- 
I think it was the all white background. I right? Think, what? I think. Y'all tripping, bro? Y'all fucked with it? I mean, you fucked with it? Yes, bro. This new era of boat is fire, bro. Uh-oh. You yeah. saying that is crazy? I know. I know. Bro, you can't play it because you know. I, I'll play it, bro. Well, we can mute it. it. There ain't we no copyright. Yeah, we could probably just leave it for Patreon, honestly. Interesting. Yeah, no. I feel like even Boat, who was like the leader of the SoundCloud era okay. at one point, has seen like, yeah, I, yeah, this this stale. You know, mm. like I could actually no, could actually no, spit, it's not. Bro. It's this. I haven't heard this one. Okay. No, yeah, you got to hear this. Put it in the mic. Put it in the mic. Yeah, we can cut that off right now, bro. That's why I was like, there's no way you were feeling that. Like, like no disrespect. It's just on, like, the inside of a PC, bro. <laughs> exactly, bro. Cool. We, Me, PG, and Rock listened to that, and we were all sitting there with this, like, look on our face, like, nah, nah, Rock, Rock was like, it. this shit, yeah, Rock, Rock was like, this it. shit Rock cool. liked it? Yeah, you remember? We were sitting on the couch, and he was like, nah, you tripping, this is cool. <laughs> he, he definitely <laughs> fucked with I, I could I could totally see Rock liking yeah, that, Yeah, yeah, this is his type. Fuck. Rock, I don't know, bro. I can't remember. He Gen Z, bro, but he also said he was down to do Elon Musk's brain chip. Yeah. Yeah, Kyle. You know, it's like, uh, you can pick and choose with Rock's opinions. <laughs> you see that with that brain implant, they started being able to move a mouse. Oh, damn. Wait, what do you mean by that? Like moving like the mouse on a computer. You buying that? Fuck no. I'd rather use my hand. No, I'm saying you buying that is like you believe that's actually what's happening. I don't know, It's man. like the moon landing, bro. It's like, man, come on, bro. Mm. Earth is flat, bro. Just like, what are we recording, doing? and they're, like, sitting there like this. <laughs> so, y'all heard me? The earth is flat. Like, what are y'all doing? Nah, Maybe. but hold on. Okay. Because, because there was a streamer that she connected, bro, some type of shit that she was She played Elden Ring with her thoughts, bro. And she was able, no, 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 listen, listen. And Superman's <laughs> going to do the next episode, y'all. Right, and then he needs to yeah. wake up. It sounds kind of crazy when I talk about it. Yeah. Like Joe Rogan. You're right. It's kind of, it sounds kind of crazy talking about it live. Oh, so uh, back to Jake Paul and Tyson. I got I to gotta say something about Tyson. We're not even there, but okay. So you said you said AJ. AJ. Francis. Francis, Francis. Yeah. We shall see in a couple, in an hour. Yeah. Like AJ it's, it's, sounds it's like a beast, PM. but I'm not. Like, okay. Francis coming out the the gate brand new. He got something to prove, bro. He got to wash AJ. Yeah. That's how I feel. AJ is just not as fun of a storyline If story Francis beats anymore. AJ, I'm just going to do this to you. But what if what if, a, what if AJ wins? Then easy. I'm going to sit back and drink my beverage if I reach for a chip. All right, then I'm going to fucking send you a video. I'm going to go, Joe. Ooh. Yeah. Wasting your cell plan with that. Your cellular data. <laughs> I'm going to send him back a voice message of me farting in my phone. <laughs> And you got to speak into that after, so, yeah. Welcome, Pink Eye. He was going to fart in his phone and then talk to it. Like, are you serious, Why bro? would I talk to it after? Because it's your phone. <laughs> and I put it down. Send. That's going to be you, bro. Ew. You ha- bro, you're bringing it to your phone to push send, right? Uh, First off, I'm not a grandpa. I'm not going to do this and read it in front so of my you're face. You're going to go. I'm going to send. Boom. Face down, like this is gonna stop. Yeah, bro. And then when I pick it up next time, hit it with a Lysol. Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul. I know we talked about Jake yeah. already, but what are we thinking about that? I'll let y'all know first and foremost. Cash grab. Sad. Thank you. Because, bro, I and I, I was talking about it yesterday on stream, and then even seeing Twitter, people are still like, they're like, nah, but that's Mike Tyson. Like he he not human. I'm like. The reality is he's 58. He's going to be 58. I don't know what the hell y'all thinking, bro. This is sad. Like, bro. Break it down. Unpack that. If he gets hit with a right hand, bro, he's going to the hospital, bro. Oh, my gosh, bro. He's been taking mushrooms. He's been peaceful. He's ego is dead, bro. That's what I'm saying, what bro. What if he gets hypnotized right before this fight? He's still 58, though. Listen to how, listen to how easily you just say that's my whole point about Ryan. You're like, what if he gets hypnotized before he has a chance? It's like, bro, when did we ever start like moving like that? You feel me? Like moving like what? <laughs> like you are you never been the type to be like, man, he should just get hypnotized and he got it. It's like bro. I said, what if? <laughs> But, like, that's not in your vocab or, like, your your dexterity. So what should I have said? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, true. Yeah, that sounds good, PG. Tell me more. Mike Tyson, 55. 
<laughs> you know who else believes Mike Tyson has a fighting chance who? and like can really sleep him? Joe Rogan. He said he's like, bro, everybody's like, like that's still Mike Tyson. But this was two years ago. Oops. Yeah, yeah I, I said that too on stream yesterday. I was like, if this was at, I would have felt more comfortable if this happened when he, when he fought Roy. Yeah, I would have felt way more comfortable. I would have been like, "Hell yeah!" You Tyson know? hasn't fought in years, huh? He fought, since, he fought since two four years, years ago. Was wasn't it four? Two years ago? Nah, I feel like it was two. Two. Mike Tyson versus Mike versus Tyson Roy? last fight. He did say some hard shit today, though. What would he say? He was like, "I brought Jay Paul in, into this because because when he fought uh, Roy uh, Roy, that's when Jake Paul fought uh, Nate Robinson." And it was like his first jump. Four years ago, you're right. So you're four, right. yeah, that's what I'm so. And he was like, I brought I brought Jake Paul into this boxing uh game. Yeah. I'm gonna i I'm gonna take him out. Tyson said like, that? Yeah. I was like, sound cool as fuck. Sound, sound cool. good. But I was like, but you still 50. Jake Paul, bro. I was like, but you 58, bro. I just didn't like how Jake Paul tweeted and he tweeted promoting it at the end. He was like, time to put Iron Mike to sleep. That's what I'm saying. I saw that and I was like, it's oh, like, nah. It's it's disrespectful, bro. Yeah, that, like, that's it's, how they it's move disrespectful. tickets. Disrespectful. That's yeah. The, it's it's tickets, but it's like I would not get don't get me wrong. I would love Tyson as a land a hook. That's what Jake wants you to feel. So you exactly, watch the fight. Exactly. And then it's gonna would, be Kumbaya. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're gonna, gonna give each other thank you, hella bro. respect. Yeah. And that's gonna be it, bro. Because I know, bro, I'm telling you, I, I guarantee you this small topic, people are gonna be in the comments, but no, nah, this still this is Mike Tyson. Like I feel y'all, I would I would want him to win, bro. I'm not fighting Mike. If that's right, really, right. If that's the question. Right, yeah. You I'm know? not fighting him. But uh, he it's got like, that on me, but yeah. I'm also like, don't want him to fight anybody, bro. Exactly, you know. That's We're I'll, crazy. I'll tell you right now, we are gonna know when they step into the ring the look on Mike's face, bro. If he look like a fucking animal like he normally does when he beats somebody's ass, I might believe it. But like he, if he walks in there and he's like arms down by his side, just all chill for wait, a fucking million dollar bag, five yeah, million, ten but even, million. But even that look, like, he's still fifty eight. And once he gets cracked in the head, it's like, I'm going to be fucking sad, bro. If I was Jake, I would do nothing but line up fights like this for trilogies. Like, mm. Nate, it was smart for him to be like, yeah, I'll come do MMA. Because that's another guaranteed bag yeah. down the line. Mike, I'd be like, Mike, I don't know if you want to run that back, back with Mike. I probably, where would I go next after Mike? You got to fight Ryan, bro. Yeah. but He's, he's way too big. Like oh, for Ryan? Yeah, yeah he's right. like 190. Right, right, right. He's I don't what, know. 140? I know he could box, but I'm not believing it until it's on like a fucking actual channel, bro. And, yeah, what, and bro? it's on Netflix. Hey, guess what, PG? Y'all don't have to believe it, bro. He's yeah. still getting paid, bro. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah like 50. But he's not getting respect from anybody. Do you think he gives a Netflix? fuck about your respect? Definitely not. <laughs> so what are you bringing it up for? Like, it's a, it's a metric. Because I'm sitting in the podcast with a mic in my hand. Fuck Jake Paul. That's how you feel? I'm not going to fight him, but yeah, fuck him. He's a fucking hustler. So now we got David Goggins as op, so we got Jake Paul as a op. You just said he don't care. Now he cares because I said fuck him? I guess that's a good point. That is a good point. <laughs> Respect, Joe. Good shit. Respect, I hate bro. when he laughs and stirs the pot, bro. <laughs> I'm not stirring. I'm just... Now nah, you stirred the pot just now. Thank you, bro. You added a crazy ingredient to the pot. By saying fuck Jake Paul? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, any more fights? Okay, last fight topic, Joe. Matter okay. of fact, let me check the clock real quick, make sure we're good. Yeah, my t-shirt got delivered. Okay. This is an excellent pod. That guy sucks, man. <laughs> like, he could be anywhere, bro. I would just keep walking, bro. He could reach out to shake my hand and watch. Act like you Jake Paul shaking my hand. Oh, hey, Joe. No, Jake. Yep. Damn. He sucks. But why? Okay. Yeah, he's making us all look bad, bro. Okay. Yeah, people look at him and they're like, oh, yeah, there Damn. they go again. Making but, fucking clowns, bro. <laughs> but do you feel like do you feel like that perspective is off of just clips you've seen of him? Because I've also seen, like, then that he's he's helped, like, women's boxing. He's helped. A lot of like, you know, 
he's helped a lot of people, bro. <laughs> What if he has a good side women's to Women's boxing going to need a lot more help than Jake Paul, PG. Damn. That's how I know you don't see the good he does, bro. This man don't do shit. It's <laughs> his PR managers, bro. That's not him. Yeah. What if he's a good guy? Can't be. Damn. He cannot be. I think Logan's cool. Okay. Logan's a dickhead, but he's he's at least more like mature than Jake. Jake is like some fucking... Like, Cornball. Ah. Yeah. We could call this a uh, bathroom segment where it's just a one on one when someone's yeah. in the bathroom. Damn. Yeah, he cut he a cornball to me. But is it damn, um, yeah. I mean it's I mean, just, like it, you know what when I what I what I like picture when you say that? Mm. It's like damn, what what what's gonna happen once we get big and then people see clips of us? I guarantee you. And they're going to be, be a like, trillionaire tomorrow, and I wouldn't start acting like that clown. Damn, bro. But I'm what if, saying, like... I'm, yeah, I'm talking about Jake Paul and how corny he is. Fuck. PG said, what about if we get big, and then people look at clips of us, and they're like, damn. They're dickheads. And I was like, damn, I will never be Jake Paul, though. But you don't know him, though, you wait, know? Wait, wait, wait. We said, what if we get clips and what now? Nah, because I'm, I'm just saying, like... We don't know him, so like, yeah. Why do you have that much hate for him? Facts, because you don't. It's not like that. What much if, what hate. if it's just okay. like he, you he just so, so it's scream just his, fuck Jake Paul? Because is it his persona? Yeah, but that, like if I see him in a crowd, I'm not like you bitch. It's okay. like so it's just his persona. Like, you better. Because what if he's like a? He, he not letting you just. I'm sorry, PG, <laughs> but like good. you gotta call you out better. the lizardry, bro. You have to call out the lizardry. Look, bro, you can't scream fuck Jake Paul into the mic, and then when you see him, you're like. Mm. All scared? You better keep that same energy. PG feels me, bro. I don't know why you're looking over there. No, he doesn't, bro. PG, you don't feel him on that? He don't don't want to get in this combo, so we might as well just keep it right here. That's fine, bro. So respond. This is the bathroom segment. I'm a P. So so, so every every single movie, song, artist, rapper that you've ever been like, no, that dude fucking sucks. When you see him, yeah. you're just going to be like, hey, bro, fuck you. I'm not going to do that, bro. Man, what the but hell? But I'm also not going to be in the mix with him to even have to answer that question or not. So when am I going to be in the mix with Mr. Paul? DreamCon. He is not going to DreamCon. You don't Con. know that? You Dude. don't know that Mark Phillips is a big name. He a big deal. Yeah, Mark Phillips is RDC's the GOAT. They're family. Yeah, RDC. Shout out RDC. Don't make it like that, but, like, I'm answer. just saying, but, like, they they... Better not bring Jake, and if they do, good for them. But so you're business, not business, business. So would, so, what if Jake comes up to you and he's like, "Yo, I seen episode four of that Speakeasy. What the fuck was that about?" I'd be like, "Look, bro, for the record, yeah, you don't seem like that fucking cool of a dude. You don't seem that level headed, and it's just my opinion, bro." And, he, and what if he's like? Yeah, I hear all that, but like, fuck that. Uh, 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 swag, swag. You gonna say something stupid like that? Yeah, strike two. So let's say, let's say he hears, you, let's say, let's say he hears you say that, and he's like, "Yeah, fuck all that. See me outside right now." Are you going? See me outside right now. I'm going to my phone and I'm saying nine one one, and I'm getting the biggest bag ever. I'm saying Jake Paul hit me. Wow. Now that's corny, but that's I'm definitely. So corny, I'm not going bro. out to fight him. Y'all gotta take what I say with a grain of salt. <sighs> so we need to have disclaimers on the pod now. Hey, all our opinions, grain of salt them. I mean, like when I'm on this, when I'm on this energy, absolutely, bro. Because okay. it's definitely. I'm just trying to help you understand, like your voice is, your voice reaches, bro. You know, you got a bigger platform than just to scream, "Fuck you." <laughs> <people." laughs> I heard you I gave mean, Logan some respect. Yeah. Okay. Logan's more mature. He, I said, is he? I said Logan's still like kind of like a dickhead, but I feel like he's a little bit more mature. Jake's just like, oh no, bro. And PG's like, but what about all the good he's done for the fucking community? <laughs> and I'm like, that's his PR <laughs> that's manager. Not, that's not what I said, bro. It's just you don't know them as a person. You sound like one of those like I can't have chat. an opinion. Y- yeah, you say you're just chatting. I am just chatting. For sure. Then that's cool. Then it's okay. cool. Cool. What do you think I am, a scholar? I'm about to go write a book <laughs> after this? No. Not a, not a book, but like... It's just like, once you got, we... You got to speak on something. 
I am. <laughs> like I am, bro. Yeah. <sighs> You're right, Joe. Right, bro. We all can have an opinion. <clears throat> Thank you, bro. My fault. Well, I'm going to read off the fights in UFC 3. 299, sorry. <laughs> I'm ready. And I want you to tell me if you recognize any of these names, bro. I know Sugar Sean. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay, hell okay, yeah. We'll start from the bottom up. Okay, and this is his main card. Peter Yan versus Song Yadong. Who you got? Who you got, bro? Song Madong. Okay. Song Yadong, bro. Don't do that because these these niggas fight, bro. So Song Yadong. Why are you pointing at me? Pause. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. We got Gilbert Burns versus Jack Della Maddalena. What was that last name? Jack Della Maddalena. Who's the first guy? Gilbert Burns. Yeah, I'm taking Gilbert. Okay. I got Gilbert, too. I got Gilbert. I got Gilbert. Yeah. Shout, out, shout out Gilbert Burns. Yeah. He a real one. Yeah. Gilbert Burns had one of the best fights in the UFC. That needs to be a Hall of Fame fight. Him versus Shema- Yes, bro. Versus, versus Kamzat. Yeah. We watched it at his house. We watched that fight. Yeah. Remember, I was like, I'm about to put on the most brutal UFC fight. Oh, you put on a few, but yeah, yeah, yeah I remember that okay. night. Yeah, that, that was a good one. Kevin Holland versus Michael Page, MVP. Okay, I've heard both of these names, but I couldn't even, like, point them out if they were, like, standing in a line. Okay. Okay. So just, just go off impulse. The same again? Kevin Big Mouth Holland. I mean, Kevin the Trailblazer Holland. Okay. Or Michael Venom Page. Ooh, Michael Venom Page. Who you got, PG? Michael. Michael? Yeah. I got you, Kevin. Let's go, bro. Honestly, though, if Kevin loses, it's going to be because he he wanted to lose. Because I feel like he hasn't really shown up running the squabble these past couple, like, Mm. encounters, bro. It feels like he's like, you know, UFC. Who would want to lose? But that's the thing. Like, like he stepped in to fight Kamzat. Yeah. That shit was hard, bro. Yeah. I know he got paid from that. Then after that, he fought, um, who did he fight after Collins? He fought like two more times, I think. I know he fought somebody, and he then fought, he fought Wonder Boy. He fought Wonder Boy. Yeah, that's what yeah. it was. And Wonder Boy, that was a fight, though. He was, yeah, squabble. was squabble. Yeah, he was squabble. Okay, never mind. Kevin, I still got you, bro, regardless. Yeah, I just feel like Michael, he he coming from, from Bellator, I feel like they're not respected. Absolutely not. And that's what Kevin, I don't know if you've seen the press conference yesterday. Kevin no, no. was like, he was like, uh... He said something about that. That there's a reason why nobody buys Bellator uh, pay per views, and everybody yeah. buys UFC fights. And I was like, I I know Mike was coming over here to like said, disrespect said you. Do you do a flying? Where you Romero go? He's in Bellator now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't heard much from him. Bellator nah. just like a different organization. Yeah, different. Yeah. yeah, they're just much smaller. But yeah, yeah. yeah he's been fighting, but I don't know. I don't be hearing. That's what I'm saying. Mm-mm. Do people from Bellator go to UFC and fight? Like Michael nah. Michael Chandler, he's from over there. Mm. He came and lit shit up. Mm. You know? His first fight, he knocked, uh, what's his boy? Izzy's boy. Oh, uh, uh, Carlo Francis or whatever his name is? Nah, 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 nah. But, but yeah, okay. you know? It's like on topic, but slightly off. Has anybody from Street Beefs gone into like <laughs> nah. the actual <laughs> ring? Nah. Um, Baby Hulk. Really? I think he he won it. It might not have been UFC though. Yeah, probably some other organization. Shit. Um, yeah, any organization. Kimbo Slice. He wasn't oh, street beef. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. He he was on you know street. I remember, YouTube. dude. He was terrifying. Yeah. Those first videos when we were like, I don't know how old, but like, dude. Yeah. In those backyards. Bro, there was one Holy Kimbo shit. fight where oh. it was he pulled up to this house oh, and yeah. he went to the backyard and started beating the shit out this guy. And I remember they showed, like, after the fight of oh, them, like, I- yes, bro, oh, of them piecing up. Like, erupted, bro. And even in that video but where his like, eye was like that, yeah, yes, he, he was like, please stop, he stop. And, like, they're dapping up in the in the, in the driveway before Kimbo leaves. I remember the, the edit had it go, like, right into his oh, eye, yeah, bro. Oh, yeah, fr- fr- freeze yeah, frame. the freeze framed. And I was like, oh, my yeah, gosh. Bro. bro, wasn't that on YouTube? That was YouTube, yeah. Yeah, Dude, early YouTube. Holy yeah. cow. Yeah, that was an era. Yeah. Right? Yeah, bro. Masvidal, he's also from um, yeah, yeah. that he, same era. He was era. off of Kimbo's, Kimbo's uh, like, fights. Yeah. Street fights. Damn. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so Komain, Dustin Poirier versus Benoit St. Dennis. I'm going Dustin, bro. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know much about Benoit. I was only lost once, though. 
Yeah, he a beast. Is he? Yeah. I, I, I'm going Dustin just because Dustin, you know. He's a family of. Uh, Dustin Diamond Board. Yeah, man. but you Anybody know? from the Gracie still fighting? No, no, they're they're done. Yeah, they they were they were fighting bare knuckle UFC. Yeah, yeah, because like, they they Royce, have like a whole family and they have like yeah, their own yeah. like Royce Gracie and stuff. Yeah, yeah, don't they have like their own gym or some shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, okay. Yeah, man. In the main event, Sean O'Malley versus Marlon Cheeto Vera. Bro, I was going for Sean, but after seeing the press conference yesterday, Cheeto, bro, Cheeto just. He got that aura, bro. Who's Sean Cheeto? don't have the best press conferences, though. Bro, yeah. He, he just he, like... I don't know. And I feel like in his mind, after yesterday, bro, in his mind, he like... He's bigger than what he... Th- like he thinks he's bigger than what he really is. What Sean? weight class are they? Yeah. Uh, 135. Bantamweight. Yeah. I was going to say, because like, yeah, just no disrespect, but like every time Sean like looks like he's fighting, I'm like, damn, like, you know? Yeah. He, he work here. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> right? Yeah. 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 I don't know how to say it without yeah, just sounding yeah, yeah. like that, but I'm glad you said it so you could get clipped. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he, I still think I'm winning, though. Yeah. So y'all choose the, y'all choose the shake Sean. Out? Absolutely. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know anything about Cheeto. What's yeah, yeah. what's like, what's like about him? He He's a beast. Mm. It's just, you know. Cheeto's not beating um, Funkmaster. Funkmaster Flex? Yeah. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Yeah, thank you. Okay, you don't think Cheeto beat him? Aljo? You think Aljo's? <laughs> he was winning, bro. I he, know he. I know he's kind of like a. Yeah, Aljo got to move up, bro. Yeah, he, he does. He, he tries to weight bully. Bro, did you know that? Um, what? What is his name? The dude who fought Kevin Holland, fought Paulo Costa, Derek Brunson. Yeah, he's like forty. Already. I'm pretty sure he's like 40, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. Larry Brunson. Bro, though, that's and that's the thing, he's bro. 40. Bro, I I don't know what it is cuz Cormy like Daniel, he like took off in his like later 30s. Mm. You see Francis, he's what 36, 37. Right. And it's like I don't know what it is about like UFC. They're just built different, bro. Bro, I I don't get it either, man. Yeah. It's like later on in their career is when they like pop off. Where it's like boxing, it's like it's like a when you're younger. Yeah, you know, UFC is just you know. Why do you think that is? Because the fights usually don't last as long, or like I th- I think because it, it's it's uh not that it's healthier, but with boxing, like you're like trained as a kid and you're getting punched in the head, bro. Yeah. So like yeah, by the time you're thirty, you're already like punch drunk. Do you still think boxing is something that you would do as a kid, knowing what you know now about the sport? Or, like, would you encourage that if you did have a son that wanted to box? Would you be like, nah, don't do that? Yeah, like, hell no. You tell him no? Yeah. Yeah. But then, like, with all these influencers and stuff, would you let him do that? That's a good question. You know? Yeah. Because I'd be wondering that, too, like, What's really the damage that these people are taking? There can't be that much damage. Yeah. Like with influencers? Yeah. I'm yeah. not trying to still spend a camp, like, yeah, getting punched on. And I don't know, bro. Now, un- I like un- to watch it, though. That shit fire. Yeah. Uh, now, unless, like, as a kid, they show interest, you know? They probably take them to a gym and, like, you know? Just let them, like. Yeah, if you're son. But, like, to, but try, not- to try to push it on them. Nah, no golden no. gloves, no nothing like that. Nah, Un- unless he he like showed interest, then you know you not support. You. What if he was trash? Ah, right. Damn. Fuck, bro. But as a kid, as a kid, you could mold them though. You know. Yeah. Dang, bro. I be thinking that sometimes about basketball, like just being so tall. I'm like, dang, like, cause I remember I I had lunch with my dad like a like a year or two ago, and he was like, like. Do you feel a way that I didn't get you in, like, basketball camps and stuff mm. as a kid? And I was like, I mean, no. But like, ever since he asked you that, I'm like, should I? Like, mm. I was a Hell child, no. bro. Hell no. We need a Berlizzi. Would you still have gotten him, maybe? I don't think so, bro. If you got into basketball, you'd be a basketball player. Yeah, but, like, we're all doing the same shit nowadays. Like, basketball players want to be streamers. No. They want to be, but they are not, Streamers bro. are boxing. Allegedly. 
mean, they're all getting bags from it, though. Like, how do you define uh, professional anymore? If Jake Paul makes more than Tank, damn, blah 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 That's blah real. blah. How do you? How do you? What was that question? How do you? How do you define professional? Do you think people are going to be pissed off that YouTubers are making bomb ass films now, and then the OG heads are going to be like, "This isn't cinematography." Damn. It 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 would take like a talk to me, where you can just have to respect it. Yeah, true. You, know? you can't you can't deny the film when yeah, it's there. Yeah, but it, but it's for sure like, I don't, I don't know who it was, but I had this conversation with like, um, with a viewer, where they were they were saying like they were asking like, do you feel like, um, it's easier now to like get in, in like films and movies because of the, if you if you're an influencer, is it easier? And I was like. No and yes, like you you'll you'll have like a you, you could have opportunities, but like it's gonna be like a mediocre film. It's not gonna be like a you know like you're gonna be a content creator. There's like you know? that one content creator that got in like t- a ton of movies. What's his name? I I just didn't want to name drop, but I know exactly who we talking about. Who, who say it? King Batch. Yeah 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 exactly. That's not who I was thinking of though. Oh. I was thinking of... Um, but he's starting to, like, expand. He was just on The Walking Dead. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, was like, I feel okay, like cool. a better... It's Issa Rae. Because she was, she was a legit YouTuber first. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She yeah. had that series on YouTube called Awkward Black yeah. Girl. I got to see her face. Uh, or Superwoman. I think she tried, too. Yeah, she she's not a good one, though. Issa Rae has a show, Insecure. Okay. That show is a massive hit, bro. Really? Hell yeah! Is okay. she also co-starred in a in a, like a romantic movie? Okay. Oh shit! She was a YouTuber. She started on YouTube. Yeah. Is he? Oh damn. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, no. When I think of like creators trans transitioning to Hollywood, I, th- I always think of her. Okay. I think of her, and I think of that other uh, the dude who played Paper. No, not Paper Boy. Oh yeah, uh, it was Paper Boy, the nah, rapper. No, nah, no, nah, that's Atlanta. I'm talking about. Uh, Snowfall. Yeah, the dude that was in the in that horror movie that we seen. Yeah, the black in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't remember his name right oh, now. Oh shit. Yeah, I, f- I feel like I feel like he he's he's in like that that King Batch, like type. King Batch, to me, doesn't get the respect. But again, this is me probably going like social media reception yeah. versus like his actual work in Hollywood. Yeah. Like he might be getting he might be getting shit done, you know. Yeah, yeah. But. I don't know. I like Issa Rae's transition a little bit more. That shit just seems like no. That that's what I mean though. Like I I mean like them as like I I meant them as like when when I see that dude. Uh, I don't know what's his name. You know, no disrespect, yeah. but like uh, the the dude that uh, yeah, if you could find him, um, that he was in that horror movie, uh, the the sickening. Blackening. I think the blackening. The blackening. And this, like, and he he was he was in uh, Snowfall as well. And I feel like Melvin Gregg. Melvin, Melvin, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, Melvin. So like, I feel like he kind of plays the same character. Where it's like, it's like that's to me that's like a your that's like a content creator, which the opportunities are fire, but like for me, when I transition, I wanna I wanna like just do it range. all. Range. That's rare though. It is rare. Yeah, you know, it is like, rare. Like I feel like actors like definitely find their avenue and stick to yeah like, yeah because i'm pretty i'm pretty sure like that's probably what they want to do you know yeah whether it's it's like a huge thing where like for like, me yeah if i if i ever got into it I, it would have to be some sort of like a comedian exactly like, you know exactly dude, like, yeah yeah so like i i get it you know yeah <clears throat> i feel like to be a creator you probably get more relationships than you do opportunities to act which then you then gotta leverage those to be like yeah you know? yeah yeah for sure I think like that's when you gotta start going to those parties not the ones where they playing with your booty but the ones where you get yeah. drinks and probably just outside networking a, on the dance floor networking yeah. right 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 bro I never want to go to a party where they're playing with my booty me neither bro yeah like what like don't ever invite me, like, me to those parties how did you already know about him like he's getting these invites via we, we all didn't watch cat williams you didn't watch the cat williams interview bro oh nah dude <laughs> or Meek look Mills. at you mad that like i had a source <laughs> outside of my own ass bro speaking of i think uh I, I, there was this article <laughs> there was this article that talked about how shannon sharp made more money 
doing that Cat Williams interview than he ever made in football. And that's crazy because I, I thought NFL, like, they be getting bags, bro. And he's they a legend. They do. They do, though. So, like, so the, that's just proof, like, where it's at right now? How lucrative. Yeah. Look, Shannon Sharp says, everybody was talking about how much money I made doing the Cat Williams interview. I just got the check. So whatever you think I made, three times it. So if you think I made 500000 three times it. If you think I made a million, three times it. Damn. If you think I made two million, three times it. He added, I made more money on Cat Williams alone than I made in any year that I played in the NFL. And one episode changed his. In-, in 2000, Sharp made five million where he signed with the Baltimore Ravens, though 4.5 million of that was a signing bonus. Other years, his earnings vary from like 110,000 to 3 million. He made around like 10 to 15 mil, probably. Three oh. times it? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> right? <laughs> Dude, because I think the interview probably has like 50, 60 million right now. On, on that one video alone. Yeah, on not that, mentioning on the that. clips. Exactly. Yeah, not mentioning yeah. shit. I don't know if he has a paid subscription service like Patreon, but. But yeah, just on that root video right there. That's how many yeah. views are on that. Like, dude, there's so many clips off of that. Yeah. Pretty sure you had ad read in there too. Yeah. Not <sighs> to mention the audio versions. Yeah. Damn. Hey, salute to you, Uncle Shannon. Absolutely. Good, Good for Lord. you, bro. That's wild, though. That's fire. Hey, hey, if y'all get 15 million, what you gonna buy right now? Shit, bro. A, a plane ticket to fucking Zimbabwe, bro. Okay. And get like okay. three like the finest IG models I can I can find, bro. <laughs> DM them immediately and be like, yo, I <laughs> I got some ideas for you. <laughs> <laughs> we could collab. We could collab right now. Bro. Oh man! Fuck. Oh my gosh, bro! That's f- I'm wilding out for at least yeah. a week, and then I'm probably gonna be like, okay, let me let me save a lot of this. Let me give some of this away. Okay. Yeah. Let me give a lot of this away. Yeah. You know. That's cool. And pay off this this shit. Pay off all debts. Same. All right, bro. Better K bar opening. Yeah, 15. Hell yeah, I'm opening up a film production company. Right. Take care of family. That's what I thought first. Much, yeah. Oh my gosh. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here, bro. A few mil to my family? Absolutely. Bro, have fun, bro. <laughs> you, you, that's a given. Yeah. That's literally a given. That's the first. Oh, yeah. My family. So if it's a given, then why are you mad that I said it? Because you're like, that's the first thing you thought of. No, you didn't, bro. Have fun. <laughs> Crash out. Crash out? <laughs> Fucking drug addict? What bro, are you talking about? Like, spend it on all the wrong reasons. Oh, bro. What the <laughs> fuck, bro? You need prayer. Mama Easy, lay your hands on him. Please. Mama Easy, Mama Easy, no, like, like, I'm good for it, bro. She knows I'm good for it. She knows I gotta, like, crash out for a little. <laughs> fucking act you Say it like it's a fucking flex, bro. <laughs> crash out, bro. Y'all not crashing out for 15 million? Crashing out sounds horrible, bro. Okay, okay. Y'all not y'all not letting loose. Like splurging, like splurging. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. If it's hell yeah, then tell us about it. It's a podcast. All scared, like I'm splurging. I'm bitches. splurging in terms of like I'm getting a crazy whip, like a yeah. house. Oh my gosh, I need like somebody younger and more lit <laughs> here, bro. Younger and more lit, bro. We're washed, bro. We are so washed, bro. You don't even want to hear what I do with mine, bro. <laughs> Don't tell me, tell me, tell me, bro. Seriously, you give nah. something to mom and dad, <laughs> sis, yeah. bro. What you doing for you? Probably buying a, a my own plane. That's the whole like. That's like thirty percent of the check. How much is it to buy a plane? Where are you going? Anywhere the fuck I want is my plane. Oh my <laughs> gosh, bro! You have to buy pay for the I'll fuel. I probably, I probably, I probably do that. Probably uh, open up my own club. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm running out the strip club. You running like out a, the strip club? For like... Just you in there? For like a week straight. What happens when Sophia reads the headlines? Dickhead buys out the strip or fucking market. The what? It'll be private. The strip market. <laughs> right, it'll be private. I was going to name them all, but... Like, yeah. It's it'll gonna be, be private. private. It's not private anymore. Then I'll Why make my own be? TMZ I, got in that bitch. Then I'll make my own fucking private jump, bro. Uh, talk to a PG. Why do you, you want, want a private head? strip club? Like I'll make my own, like, I don't know. I'll invite strippers over or something. Uh, 
That's swaggy inviting strippers he over to the crib. He has fifteen million dollars. Me too. Okay, bro, well, we're just trying to, be... to say some cool shit. Say some cool Ray, shit. Say some cool shit, bro. Ah, uh, yeah. Fun. We're talking why? about headlines. Yeah, like, I'd probably damn, get, like, a nice... me, like, in trouble. Right, exactly. Why is he thinking about headlines? Yeah, I'd get, like, a nice get salmon trouble. dinner. Uh, maybe, uh, a, maybe a brand new pair of Vans. Ah, uh, oh my gosh, bro. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe go down to a local community college and see if they could use some, some endorsements. What's the next topic, bro? <laughs> <laughs> um... Bro, you had a topic on that whiteboard you you erased. Maybe we should save it for for after hours. <laughs> oh, yeah, save that for after hours, bro. Right, I need okay. a beverage in my hand to go okay, in there. Okay. So, I can go get my Apple Vision Pro, but I've had it now okay. for about a month. It's a phenomenal device, bro. I know mm. I'm late to the topic, too, with that. Look at you mad that I got one. No, I'm stretching my neck. Okay. I, I, I got to get a massage. Where do y'all get massages out here? Shit, bro. Um, I haven't got one out here. Dude, I need yeah. one, bro. You call like a like an in house. They come to the crib. You Sound know. like what PG was talking about yeah, five if, minutes ago. If you ago. had that fifteen mil, you wouldn't have to worry about that, bro. Yeah, All right. Yeah, if fifteen mil, bro, fucking massage. I'm getting extracted. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta unpack that, that. Lead, bro. <laughs> unpack it. Extracted. I'm bro. getting extracted, bro. Happy endings. <laughs> Absolutely, bro. You know what I'm gonna do. I'm going to sit there and resist for as long as I can, bro. Make her job even harder, bro. I'm going stupid for 15 mil, bro. It's going to be. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, bro. I'm fucking uh, crying. <laughs> she's going to be in on it, though. It's going to be fully consensual, fully Absolutely. legal. Oh, bro. Yep. Oh, man, that was hilarious. That was a laugh. Um, yeah, Apple Vision Pro is fire. I know a lot of people think it's a pointless device, and I would have to agree with that. I will not ever recommend somebody buying one okay. in the first iteration of this device. Okay. But this shit is actually revolutionary, bro. Damn. A lot of people compare the Meta Quest to the Apple Vision Pro, and it's literally like apples and oranges, bro. You can't compare the two. It's more of a lifestyle, right? It's more of a lifestyle. Yeah. Hundred percent. Okay. Because what what have you heard people describing it as? N- not only not only lifestyle. that, but I remember I think it was two episodes. Was it two episodes ago when we were talking about it? And I was saying that that's exactly what it looks like they're doing. And now you having it, would you like say like that's what they're say? Say now that you have it, do you see where they're trying to go? For sure. Okay. For sure. So the way that it works right now is, at least the best use of it that I found. Let's take, a, let's take a space like this, right? Let's take any four walls. Okay. If you did not have a computer, this is a computer to where, mm. like, you have the headset on and you can, like, what I what I do, I'll walk up to a wall, open my calendar, and place it on the wall. Then I'll walk away from that, walk to another wall, put my photos up. Then walk to another wall, put my messages up. Walk to another wall, you know, and I have all these apps open to where, like, when I sit down, it's not, like, a bunch of shit in front of me. It's, like... An Where you put it, AR space. Yeah, that's hard. See, that's fire. You you changed my perspective on what I thought about it. Like before, I was like, "It's dumb as hell." Like, right? It's literally everything that's on my phone. Why would I do it and strap it to my forehead? And then, like, seeing what it was. Exactly. I probably wait for like a couple down the line. Yeah. But still, like, I think that shit is fire, bro. Definitely changed my perspective and just like, like, yeah, just for that thing alone, bro. Like, cause when you put it on, it's, it's, I think it's cleaner or as clean as like the, the VR, like pass through. Oh, it's for sure like clearer. Yeah. Easy. But like just the fact that you can literally do that. So like, dude, I feel like business wise, that shit like could help a ton. And, and that's bro. what I mean. Like Apple, bro, Apple does so well with like combining like all their devices, like your iPhone with your, yeah. with your watch, with your, with your MacBook. And it's like, bro, once they, a few years down the road, once they minimize, like, bro, make it smaller, bro, you're just going to be, boom, it's connected with everything, bro. It's literally a lifestyle, bro. Everybody's just going to be, like, having that shit on. Mm-hmm. And they're, and it, they're it, like, yeah, VR's been done, but they're the first ones to make something like that. Yeah, yeah like And lifestyle. it's fucking good. Yeah. Like, that's, that's a scary jump because you already know companies are, like, all buying one. How can we make it better? Yeah. Like, in that same week, they're already, like, they're already planning it now. But I'm just saying, like, for this to be the very first one, nothing before this, and they did it that clean, 
Like they they changed the game with that for sure. Fire. Yeah, the Apple Vision Pro feels like AR versus VR with the Quest. Yeah. Yeah. And Quest definitely has way more games, way more of a community. Like they got games in there that that are meant to talk to other people. Where the Vision Pro is a literal solo dolo unless you're in a zoom call or facetime yeah otherwise than that you're by yourself yeah i almost separated i think like the the vr is like a gaming console yeah it's it's it like is. it's like a pc and a macbook bro it's like the macbook yeah. is it's it's for work you mm-hmm. know it's for you know what i mean and a pc you get that you know more for, for gaming? like gaming mm-hmm. and that's literally that's the a good Quest idea versus yeah. yeah the apple you know i mean yeah the, yeah, sure. the virtual display too of the macbook like when you take it off of the screen and then have it open that shit is so fire see that's fire bro. because the pass through is like probably like set like the way it feels is like 720p okay which is still clear but when you open up apps those are the 4k like mm. retina display type visuals bro like i'm sitting there with with the pass through looking at my laptop and i'm like gotta get all close but then like tap virtual and it opens up and it's like oh yeah this is way more fire. Wow. But again, I could not recommend this to anybody. Like, I wouldn't tell y'all, you got to get this. Okay. I'd just be like, just wait, because, you know. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. It's still very early on, but it's a cool device, though. Fire. Um, okay. We could save uh, the one I put right there for After Hours, too. Meek Mill? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that was a solid episode. Yeah, we, we had that there. In. Okay, bet, bet, yeah. bet. Um, and then you do After Hours. Yeah. All right. Um, apologize for the, for the slight delay. As you can see, we are now in the new studio, right? Where everything is situated and we will be hitting y'all over there with more content, uh, future guests. And as always, you can check out the Patreon down in the description below to access early episodes and bonus footage, including our after hour series where we crack some drinks, crack some jokes and get into some a little bit more deeper top not even deeper bro just a little bit more raw of an yeah, experience more raw. yeah because we could we could go off track a little bit more on there because we're not staying like on a certain trajectory you know yeah. exactly exactly it's, it's it's for the family bro so again subscribe to the patreon for more and um with that physical gamers mark joe wako wako beats it's your boy releasey what was <laughs> hey bro peace y'all yeah yes sir yes sir peace <laughs>